Welcome to our channel Knowledge Info. Today, we have an interesting topic to discuss. On May 29th at 11:30 a.m., the Made in India missile Rudram 2 was tested by DRDO and the Indian Air Force. This air-to-surface missile was launched from a Sukhoi Su-30 MKI of the Indian Air Force. The performance of this missile met expectations, and all trial objectives were successfully achieved. The missile's control and guidance systems were validated. Rudram missiles are made in India and belong to the air-to-surface category. Many might think there are several specialized air-to-surface missiles, but Rudram missiles are unique because they are anti-radiation missiles. An anti-radiation missile is designed to detect and destroy enemy radar systems by homing in on radio waves emitted by enemy radars. Generally, an air-to-surface missile is fired from an aircraft at a ground-based target to destroy it. However, anti-radiation missiles specifically detect radio waves emitted from enemy radar, follow those signals, and precisely attack the radar system. The Rudram series is India's first anti-radiation missile system. Currently, there are three variants in the Rudram missile series, Rudram 1 has a range of 150 km, Rudram 2 has a range of 300 km, which can extend up to 350 km, Rudram 3 has a range of 550 km. Among these, only the Rudram 2 missile has been successfully tested so far. This missile can fly at altitudes between 3 km to 40 km. Its launch speed ranges from Mach 0.5 to Mach 1.5, and it can achieve a maximum speed of Mach 5.5, 6,800 km per hour. It also has the ability to maneuver during the final phase of its flight, making it highly effective against enemy targets. The Rudram 2 missile is currently compatible with the Sukhoi Su-30 MKI and Mirage 2000 fighter jets. In the future, this missile may be integrated with more aircraft. Due to its high range and precision, this missile will play a crucial role in countering China's advanced air defense systems deployed along the border. If the Indian Air Force conducts a SAD, Suppression of Enemy Air Defenses, operation, Rudram 2 will be an essential asset. In addition to SAD missions, the Rudram 2 missile will be highly effective in various air-to-ground offensive operations. It can neutralize enemy radar-based surface-to-air missile systems, making them vulnerable to further attacks. One of the biggest advantages of anti-radiation missiles is that enemy forces often turn off their radars to avoid detection. However, once a radar is turned off, anti-radiation missiles lose their target. To counter this, the Rudram 2 is designed to memorize the last known location of the radar and continue tracking it, ensuring that the radar system is still destroyed. Another important feature of the Rudram 2 is its advanced guidance system, which includes a passive homing head that can detect multiple radar frequencies. This means that the missile is not limited to targeting a single type of radar but can effectively engage different kinds of enemy radar installations. This flexibility enhances its capability in modern warfare, where enemies may use different radar systems for surveillance, tracking, and air defense. By taking out these critical enemy assets, Rudram 2 ensures that Indian fighter jets and bombers can operate with reduced risk from enemy surface-to-air missile defenses. Furthermore, the Rudram missile series represents a major step forward in India's indigenous defense technology. Developing and deploying anti-radiation missiles reduces dependence on foreign missile systems and strengthens India's position as a leader in cutting-edge military technology. With continued testing and future advancements, the Rudram missile series could potentially be integrated with more Indian Air Force aircraft and even developed into naval and ground-based variants for enhanced versatility. The success of the Rudram 2 test marks another milestone in India's commitment to self-reliance in defense and its ability to counter modern threats effectively. Thank you for your valuable time. Subscribe, share, and comment.